a todos. Good morning, everyone. I'm Silvina Moschini, and I'm the founder, chair of the, the board, and the president of Unicorn and Unicorn Hunters. And most likely, you have heard many, many times this phrase, crypto is dead. But today, as we know, crypto has gone down and up many, many times. The media reported that crypto had died over 500 times, and today the price, it just passed $35,000. It makes me believe that I've been here before because I was one of the founders of the early stages of the internet in 2000. I was part of a team of Patagon.com, an online bank that was sold to Banco Santander Central Hispano in $785 million, becoming one of the most successful cases in fintech in Latin America. And we saw this, this happening before. Companies crashing, markets collapsing, and then bouncing back. But if we come to think of crypto, we saw that crypto is the natural evolution of the barter system turned into the money backed by the gold, the gold standard, turned into money paper, turned into plastic money, turned into electronic money, and then, of course, now the cryptocurrency, a natural evolution on how we think about money, on how we think about currencies. It's also a natural evolution of what we have seen many years before when the bubble burst, first generation of companies. Remember, MySpace was soon later replaced by Facebook. Companies like Altavistas were replaced by Google, the bubble burst, but it all came back and came back stronger. And to come to this, make me to think of where are we now? It's over 300 million of crypto users in the world, but traditional cryptos have issues for the majority of the people, not the people that are seeking anonymity and decentralization, but people who want to have a good investment opportunity, something where they can put the extra money that they have people who want to have access to the same investment opportunities that the rich people have. Because traditionally, there were wealthy people investing, accessing fantastic opportunities, and the rest of the world looking at them and being left behind. This is why we created Unicoin, to address the issues of traditional cryptocurrencies that are, in some cases, the illicit use, the lack of transparency, the high volatility, and the high risk. And what we did is by creating and launching a coin that was audited by the SEC, public reporting company in the US, we went straight the road, the regulatory road, spending a lot of effort, and of course, as well, a lot of money in being compliant from day one. Also, having asset backing, because we believe that in the past, the money was backed by gold or by goods or by other different assets. In the future, we can put together the best of the financial system together with the best of crypto technology, creating a product through the shape of a cryptocurrency that can connect the dot between the traditional financial system and the power of the blockchain revolution, creating a coin that is transparent, that is asset-backed, that reports publicly, and that it believes that we can take to the market by making it very easy for people to understand how we did it by creating an investment show, because we needed to do two things right. One was to make it easy for people to understand and to see. To have a media company allows us to get to the masses, globally, massively. To have the asset backing give us a differentiator. So we created Unicorn Hunters, a show that we co-produced with the number one executive producers of reality in the world, Craig Plestis, the producer of The Mass Singer, The Apprentice, and Dance No Dance. And we invited top personalities from around the world, including Steve Wozniak, the former treasurer of the United States, Lance Bass, who is doing a comeback with NSYNC, Christian Mantapolos from HBO, Silicon Valley, and created a show in which we assess companies with unicorn potential, and we invite people from around the world to invest in them. We take an equity stake on these companies, and the equity stakes in these companies is also backing our coin. So we diversify the portfolio. The show is there in over 400 million uh, potential viewers now. This is the all count. 
and across airlines, across different platforms, OTT, YouTube, LinkedIn. We also partner up with celebrities because we are targeting the audience and the best way to get to the audience is to target one, two clusters. So as entrepreneurs, we became quite creative and partnered up with NFL, five NFL Hall of Famers and five NFL current players, including the rookie player of the year, to educate their community about the opportunity to invest. And also with Juan Pablo Montoya, the Triple Crown a Formula One champion to represent our brand internationally. We partnered up with the former treasurer of the United States to present the company even before launching because the company will be listed in a couple of weeks all over the world, introducing the concept and introducing it from Dubai to Argentina to Colombia to pretty much any of the key markets across the world. And we also leverage a lot from media relations. We leverage from the media to not only educate, but also to facilitate an understanding to people on how things can be done differently when we put traditional institutional concepts into crypto. And to do that, we leverage a lot as well from speaking engagements and from leadership, talking about and educating the audiences about it. We did advertising across different efforts, all of that using the coin that we built backed by the asset that we purchased to get the assets back in the coin. So we created a coin that buys uh, this kind of advertising so we can promote ourselves. We also did deals like that, partnering up with companies that have uh, vehicles, in this case it's a free ride in uh, Miami, all over Miami you can get a free ride in a Tesla Model X, like an Uber but cooler, electric cars so, uh, socially responsible to, to promote the uh, information about what we are doing. And we took 5% of the companies that we have in the show. We plan to have hundreds of companies as part of our ecosystem. But we needed to do, as I said, two things right. One was branding, massive visibility, thought leadership, events, speaking engagement, public relations, advertising in different forms, and then creating the assets that back the coin. So we focus on two main areas. One is the companies through the show, and these are some of the companies in our portfolio. And the other one was to focus on something that our investors will come to us and tell us, what I really understand when they talked about investment is real estate, but I don't understand crypto. Crypto doesn't make sense to me. But if you give me something that I can understand and use crypto as a vehicle, I can totally bet on that. So a massive amount of the population that today is not investing will see in a vehicle that it's easy for them to invest the opportunity to get into crypto, to make the market larger. So we started to use this crypto to buy real estate. And we closed important deals, including a $335 million hotel in uh, Thailand, a property uh, that it's on the mining space, a, a, a copper mine in Argentina for uh, $125 million, which became the largest crypto deal in history, but was later, later on surpassed by another deal, which was something that we closed a couple of days ago, a $68 million property, a land, sorry, land free, a front land property, coastal land property in the Bahamas. And all of that using the coin. So we use the coin to buy the land that is at the same time backing the coin. So we have an asset-backed cryptocurrency that was positioned in a way that was able to get the assets that is creating the baseline for the company. And we assemble over a $1 billion in assets back in the coin to today. And also we use a different instrument, advanced financial instrument, that was the first time done by a coin, including deferred payment, using collateral, doing high yield notes and different elements. To, to back, the, to back the, the coin and also to sell the, in a different manner. So this is how we build and we connect the dots between the two companies. Unicorn Hunters that seeks for the next unicorn, the next company that will be worth a billion dollar. And in seeking that, we build a billion dollar company as well through Unicorn. So we call it the, the unicorn of crypto. If you have any questions, I know it was a short time, 
these are our contact information. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.